Oh, man, I, I do want to have kids. I really want to have kids. I want to have twin sons, identical twin sons, and I want them both to grow up and end up being gay. Just so I can go to dinner parties and be like, <laughs> I can't keep them straight. <laughs> no, I, I want to have kids, and I ask my, my friends with kids, I'm like, what, what is it? How do, you, how do you tip your toe in the water with, with child rearing, right? They're like, oh, you should babysit. You should try babysitting. That's a good first step, right? You have to clean up some poop. You got to rub something off the wall. It's going to be great. I was like, cool. So I, my friend wanted to go on a date. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's play babysit your kid. I'll babysit your kid. He's like, really? Great. So I took the kid. I wanted to take him somewhere he would enjoy. Little tiny, little tiny tyke. And I, so I was like, let's go to a stuffed animal museum. That's something kids like, right? And we get there. And it turns out there's a subtle but important difference between a stuffed animal museum and a taxidermy museum. <laughs> so he immediately started crying. <laughs> I have to have a conversation about mortality that I am not prepared for. <laughs> He's like, what are they all dead? I'm just like, oh, these ones? These are, these are just the bad animals. <laughs> just the bad ones. He's like, so only bad things die? And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure, just the bad things. And he's like, what did grandpa do? <laughs> I was like, well, he probably voted for Trump. That's, uh... <laughs> I just feel so bad for this kid, and I'm just thinking, like, if I take him back now, I'm not gonna be friends with the kid's dad. You know, two birds with one stone, which was one of the exhibits at the taxidermy museum. <laughs> So I decided to take the kid to Build-A-Bear, right? Build-A-Bear, you know, get him, a, get him a stuffed animal like I promised. That's gonna be, that'll make it all better, right? Just like all the divorced dads think. And uh, so we walk into Build-A-Bear and I'm just like, what do you, what do you want? What, what, which one of these bears do you want? How about that one? It's a, it's a polar bear, you want a polar bear? He's like, no, it's really white like you. I was like, shots fired from the kid who can't pronounce his R's, like. <laughs> So anyway, so we get the bear, and we the next step, you gotta fill your bear with love, right? That's what they call the stuffing at Build-A-Bear. They call it love. I know, I almost threw up too. <laughs> so we go on over to the employee there. Clearly hates his job. <laughs> hates his life. He's got these massive gauged ears, and he's just like, how much love do you want in your bear? <laughs> your mother gave you. Can we get more love than you got as a child? Is that possible to pay extra for that? And he was being snarky with me. He knew the kid was crying. He knew when I was having a bad time. He made us do every stupid step of Build-A-Bear. You had to fill out a birth certificate for the bear for some reason. Generate a social security number. That took weeks. <laughs> Gives us two little toy hearts to put inside. He's like, okay guys, make a wish. And I'm just like, I wish I wasn't in Build-A-Bear. <laughs> put the toy heart and the kid's like, I wish grandpa didn't vote for Trump. <laughs> America wishes that. America also wishes that. And the dude, like, he just, he was making it so painful. Do you guys ever fantasize about slapping a bike lock in someone's gauged ear? <laughs> just me? <laughs> Run away, be like, the combination's your mom's cell phone number. <laughs> Big old gauges working at Build-A-Bear. There's no chance he's still talking with his mom, right? <laughs> I think it's a good word for it, gauges, because it's a good gauge of how distant you've become from your family. <laughs> you can measure it like the rings in a tree. Every centimeter's another Thanksgiving you've missed. <laughs> Can't make it this year, Mom. Coke can. Like... <laughs> and some people, you know, they get offended at these jokes, come up to me afterwards like, hey, Mr. Tall Pants, I have gauges. And I talk to my mom every single day. I'm like, it doesn't count if you live with her. <laughs> but I tell you what, I'm excited. I'm excited for 20 years down the road when everyone with those big old dinner plate gauges realize that they don't grow back. <laughs> That's going to be fun for everybody because there's going to be a lot of infomercial solutions to fix it. <laughs> you know, it's just going to be a guy turning around in a swivel chair. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? <laughs> Can you wobble to and fro? <laughs> Can you tie them in a knot? Call now. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I'm set tickets.
If you want, you can watch my entire special for only 99 cents. Just click here. Easy as pie. Or you can watch more clips by clicking here. And make sure to subscribe by clicking here. Come on, click it. You know you want to. I can see your, your trigger finger on that mouse getting... Well, let's be honest, we're all on phones.